First of all, as Byron was growing up, was it a given that given? he was expected that he was going to be saving with you? Um, well, it, it was a thing of, of, of just wait and see what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, he he brings uh, some sheet music out. I wrote a song, and uh, here he is. Yeah. It, it started with a song, really. Yeah. It wasn't a given with him as much as it was with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to prove yourself, That's right? right? He said, I'm going to be a singer, and here he is. And actually, I, I really thought about it since I was about six years old. Because yeah. I can remember being in the first grade, and I always go around and ask the kids, what, what you're going to be when you grow up. Well, he's, a, well, he's just too big a kid. <laughs> yeah, I put on everything, and I still don't come out. You've heard of the shrinking woman? Uh -huh. This is the incredible shrinking daddy. Oh. <laughs> Do you, guys, Do you guys travel a lot together? Oh, yeah, you all the time, yeah. Is he, in, is he in charge of any particular thing? When you yeah, he's in travel? charge of keeping me straight. I'm in charge of keeping him straight. And plus carrying his guitar. That's my main job. Carrying his guitar. <laughs> and making sure the back of his hair is combed. <laughs> yeah. That kind of thing. I got you. Just little things. But the little things. <laughs> little things mean a lot, don't they? I know. They yes. do. <laughs> How old were you when you first did a duet with your dad? I mean, a real duet. A real duet? It was, uh... Quite a few years after we really started singing together, but probably 22, something like that. And I believe the first duet was Back Home Again. Back Home Again. Yeah. Well, did it click the first time you tried to sing together? Did it work out real well? It was perfect. Really? Yeah. It was, uh, we, we fit together. I mean, we know each other so well that it's just like a telepathy thing between us. And we can tell, I can tell when he's going to start a word if he starts it. Somewhere he shouldn't, <laughs> and vice versa. Well, the good part about duets is like what we were doing out here, the yodel. When you when you do duet goes, and if one backs out, nobody knows it. That's right. And then you can catch up. I got you. And, and so, in fact, that's what happened out there. Well, <laughs> that's just a, just I was wondering about that. Yeah. Well, 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 somebody keep going, and the next one will catch up. Just the teamwork's what covered it. Let yeah. me tell you that's how. Right. Now, now, you really had some inspiration from your dad oh, yeah. to be in the business. And Slim, I tell you, boy, back in the 50s and uh, 40s, when you were really getting your interest, you were working at the post office, right? Well, at, at first, I was in the shipyard. Mm -hmm. We came to Nashville. And after I lost that job, we went uh, into Louisiana. Yeah. And, well, I had a wife and daughter there, and I didn't have a son. And, mm -hmm. uh, and they wanted to pay us eighteen dollars a week, and I, I, I said that, that, that's fine for me, but what's the family going to do? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so they finally paid us fifty dollars a week, and but uh, to help to help that to stay there, I had to get a job, and uh, I was a postman. Well, but you took a leave of absence from yeah. the post office. Yeah. Is it's that fine. up yet? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can still well, help. It, it, uh, it was a thing we were watching. The wife is all. It's always had a big, big part in the career, and uh, I had Love Some of the Waterfall, which was the first top ten. And some people were saying, "You ready to go on the road?" I said, "No," and the wife says, "No," and uh, and so then along came in your love call, which went all over the world, and and we both agreed maybe we could make it, maybe. And so I went into the postmaster and I said, "It looks like we're going to go on the road. I want to quit." He said, "No, don't quit." He said, go try it, and if you need your job back, you've got it. That's the way we left it. So oh, you still got yeah. an open invitation at the yeah. post office. And if it, if it gets any worse, I'll go back to Shreveport. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many records have you sold worldwide at this point? Uh, about 60 million. 60 million records. And still recording, I understand the two of you are going in to record gospel albums. Is that right, Byron? That's right. Uh, I guess the first of July. By the way, he's sold 60 million records. I've sold six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got paid on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a new project in the yeah, works. And, and listen, one other thing, Slim, I got to touch on before we take a break. Uh, when you were getting started, everybody had a nickname, didn't they? Well, yeah, like nickname fans and all that sort of thing. Yeah, but I mean, there's like uh, the singing this, singing that, or the yeah. breakman or whatever. What was your nickname? Uh, uh, okay, they call me Slim. 
naturally. Yeah. Well, yeah, I got that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, a smiling starduster. Smiling starduster. Smiling starduster, which we got in Shreveport. Yeah. Mainly because they said, well, he sings high, he does stars. Uh -huh. And so they put the, the starduster on. The smiling, I don't know why they put that on, because I rarely smile. But uh, it, it's there, and, and people still call me the smiling uh -huh. starduster. How about but well, you're I know that you have something to smile about because yeah. you and your wife very soon are celebrating what wedding anniversary? Which one is it? 54 years. 54 years. Congratulations to you. Uh, it's a great, it's the greatest thing that ever happened, really. Uh, in fact, we were married before I got into show business. And so I respect that. And I went into the war. I went into World War II. And uh, back then, like I said, we had a daughter, Sharon, and, uh, and I sent the money home, $80 a month home, and the wife saved $40 to buy a house. And, and so you respect that. And as we got into the music business in 1948, I was a guy that was known as a guy that had a lot to sing about, nothing to talk about. I wouldn't talk. And so she said, I will talk. And she was my announcer in Tampa where I was born. Is that right? Uh, and so she was the announcer to keep things going. And then later on, when, uh, when I started talking a little bit, she said, OK, I'll tend to home. And so she has been everywhere with me. And uh, it started out, we would last six months, which most people say that when they get married. Uh -huh. But then uh, it, the key to it, I think, is you have to respect the wife as home with the kids. And, and wherever I went, mm -hmm. I would call, How, how's everything? And, mm -hmm. uh, and when you come home, I'm taking stars off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was taking care of business. And, and the wife is here in Nashville tonight. She'll be watching this with us tonight in the, in the hotel. Good. Well, congratulations to you and your family. It's great. You guys are wonderful. Byron, so what are you doing? Thank you so much. Here's where you'll find Slim and Byron Whipper.